Hey guys, welcome back. In today's video, we are opening my February sub box from Jane's Agenda. It's a lot of stuff in here, but from what I understand, March is going to be huge. There we go. I did already go through things. Sorry, I was impatient. Um, so I'm going to get everything out of here and then we'll come back and look at everything. Okay, so we're going to look at all the small stuff first. Um, so this is the thank you slash tour card that always comes in every box. Um, so if you don't know what something is, you can look at the back. It will tell you. Um, so we got these quote cards. It's not what we have in life, but who we have in our life that matters. And live in the now. And everything is neutral-ish this month, I think. And then we've got these Pale Rose Translucent Sticky Notes. And this cute journaling card. Which is, well, there, there's a thank you on the back and stuff. And the codes go download wallpapers that go with it. Um, but it's pretty much a journaling card. Um, we got stickers. Jane made stickers. Um, this is a rarity. Which I wish was not a rarity, but it's a rarity. Um, they're functional stickers. So this is for unplugging. So you've got the ones that say unplugged, which I'm hoping you can read. And then you have like two plugs coming apart in a circle. So you could use them together or apart, whichever you prefer. Let me just get rid of the plastic. Um, we've got a pen pouch. This is in the um, allegedly gray, which is the new color with rose gold. They have like a wrap cover and stuff in this color too. So. It's a decent size. You're not going to fit a Tombow in here, but you can fit like pens, washi, if we turn it that way, stickies, all, you know, all the little type stuff. But you can fit, fit pens in it, so just not your giant ones. She's given us huge pen pouches, the like long skinny ones, so now we have one this size. And then we've got this washi tape, which I absolutely love. This is awesome. I have all my washi tape like this from um, washi tape shops set up over here already to use for my reading journal. So I'm sure this will be making it into the same pile. <laughs> and then we got a pen. This is a 0.05 Frixion Zone technology. I don't know what that means. Uh, and it says Pilot Japan on the back. So... I think it probably works on these. Um, it's pretty. It's like a learning curve because you have to remember to push this down instead of like the eraser part. <laughs> okay, so that's everything that comes in like the little bag of stuff that's always on top. And then we've got our page finder for the month. If I can get it out of its plastic. Okay, so it's got a film on it, so it'll end up being perfectly clear, but it's like a neutral animal pattern type deal. And then this sticks up over your pages so you can find your spot. And let's look at the cover. It's a two-piece cover, it's clear. There is film on it the back here and here because that's where they touch when they ship them um so it's to try to keep them from getting damaged but they will be crystal clear once you take the film off so you can see how clear they actually are uh i haven't put them on yet i'm not sure if i'm gonna put them on this month because i'm really in love with the january cover so I might be sticking with that for a little bit um but this is the february cover uh and then these are the card stocks I do believe that go behind it. Oh, and it says it takes strength to bloom. That's what the cover says. Alright, so we've got the floral front and back, and then we've got the kind of like abstract front and back. I'm partial to the flowers. Um, there we go. Forgot how they worked for a minute. So you put them in your cover, and they would obviously go on the discs. And then you've got your flowers on the front, 
and your flowers on the back. And then if you don't like the flowers, you can just switch it and then you end up with this on the front or the back. So it would look kind of like this, minus of course the weird plastic. So it's good choices either way, but I am partial to the flowers. Um, so that's the cover. So now we've got some functional dashboards, which I love these things, but if they keep coming out with them every month, if they keep coming out with them every month, I'm going to need a separate planner just to hold them. Um, they're on a nice thick cardstock. So this is 30 ways to maximize time management and productivity. This list offers practical tips and methods to improve time management and productivity. Okay, um, and then there's a list of 30 things. And then we've got a digital detox challenge. This challenge is a practical guide to help reduce digital usage and encourage healthier tech habits. Try adding a new challenge item to your routine each day. So you've got stuff like set your phone to do not disturb mode during family meals. I put my phone on do not disturb as soon as I walk out of my office and it does not come off until I'm walking back into my office. <laughs> um, Turn off app notifications for social media and email. I'm still trying to learn how to do that on this phone. Um, designate specific tech-free hours each day. Remove social media apps from your phone for a weekend. Yeah, no. No, 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 no. <laughs> That's not a thing. Okay. Uh, some of it's useful and some of it's just flat out crazy. Uh, and then this is mindfulness and presence inspiration affirmations. These affirmations provide daily reminders to stay present, manage time effectively, and focus on what truly matters in a busy life. Uh, I prioritize my time to focus on what truly matters. Each moment of presence is a gift to myself. I have the power to unplug and recharge. I have balance. I balance my life with grace and ease. Yeah, not quite, no. But, so these are the ones we got this month. They're on nice cardstock, so like I said, if they keep doing this every month, I at some point will need another planner just to hold them all. There are lots. Um, I like them all, don't get me wrong, but it's like you have to switch them out every month. And now this is our layering pieces. So you get different layering like cardstocks and, and papers and vellums or acetates and stuff like that every month. So we have this number two February vellum, which I like, but would be replacing it with my chapter two February vellum that I finally got after, I don't know, a year of begging, I think. Um, and then we've got this Eiffel Tower and surrounding building cardstock, and it's on both sides. And then we've got the flower on both sides. So you could put February on, oops, let's put things right side up. So you could put it here or you could put it on here. It looks good on both. I think I'm probably partial to the flower, to be perfectly honest, but I do like this too. And that would just end up in a different section of my planner. Um, and really I might use this on the Eiffel Tower, like in a different section and then put the chapter two on top of this flower, but we'll see. Um, all right, and then we've got two things left. So you get inserts of some sort with every subscription box this one is weekly number 27 it's hourly appointments for classic size because i get the classic size box um i don't do use or need hourly as we have discussed on many occasions so i'm trying to decide if i'm going to give these away if i want to put them in the like for sale or trade group i'm not sure um this is what they look like so we've got Monday through Friday, and then Saturday and Sunday are split. And you've got hours from 5 a.m. to 9 p.m. I'm awake at 5 a.m., but making it to 9 p.m. is a struggle. Because I get up at 4 a.m. every day. So yeah, so this goes through, let's see, we've got March and April... And it goes to April 28th, and then we've got May. Oh, okay, it keeps going. I thought that was like dock red paper. Now I get it. Okay. So it's always so like you can pull a month in or out, like you could swap them. Like this month you try hourly, you don't like it. Next month you try a different one. So we've got May, 
and we've got June. So half a year of hourly inserts. Now, could I take this and use bullets or white out or something like that and make all the numbers go away and just have these be lists? Yes, I could. Is that going to drive me crazy and not really serve my needs? Yes, it is. So <laughs> these are going to find another home. I just have to decide in what way it's finding that other home. I'll put them back in the plastic when we are done. And then the last item is this saddle stitch notebook. It's this pretty lilac color and it says reflections journal. So this I think I will like. Um, so you've got the date, daily energy and time reflections. So you've got morning reflections, today's top three priorities. How am I feeling this morning? Circle one, tired, neutral, energized, morning energy boost activity. For example, uh, morning walks, uh, having a smoothie, meditation, midday check-in, energy level at midday check-in. What boosted my energy? What drained my energy? Evening reflections, today's achievements, there's room for three, or you could divide this in half and make six or nine, depending on how much you need to write. Energy level in the evening. Uh, evening wind down activity like reading, family time, skincare, um, overall reflections, what worked really well today, what I would do differently, one thing I'm grateful for, and then you have a notes section. And they're pretty much the same every day. Three, five, six. That doesn't make sense. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, three, twenty five, twenty seven, twenty nine, thirty one, thirty three, thirty five, thirty seven, thirty nine, forty one, forty three. 45, 47, 49, 51, 53. So there's 53 days worth in here, unless I miscounted, which is totally possible. Um, and these will fit in the December, um, <clears throat> they call it Traveler's Journal cover. It's like brown leather. Brown leather. Uh, I don't remember if I did a video for that. I might have. Um, <laughs> If not, uh, there's a saddle stitch notebook every couple of sub boxes. Um, this one is like the reflections. It's like mental. Um, and then March, I think, is a much bigger push into wellness. But I could be remembering wrong. I saw a couple sneak peeks. Um, so yeah, so this is the sub box for February. We've got all these things. Tons of them, um, <laughs> as usual. So when March gets here, I will open it when it gets here as opposed to waiting until, you know, like six days into the month. But that's it for this video. Thanks for hanging out with me. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Share it with a couple of your friends. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any more videos. And I'll see you in the next one.